Welcome to another enlightening episode of Crosswalk. Today we delve into the profound truth found in Galatians chapter 5 verse 1, exploring the concept of true freedom in Christ and its significance in our lives. In his book, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Relationships, Roles and Relevance, Bruce A. Ware challenges our conventional understanding of freedom. He emphasizes that true freedom is not found in indulging our sinful desires or rigid adherence to religious rules, but in submitting fully to the will of God as exemplified by Jesus Christ. We often equate freedom with the ability to do whatever we please. However, this perspective leads to bondage rather than liberation. Conversely, legalism, the strict observance of religious laws, also enslaves us, hindering true freedom. Paul's letter to the Galatians addresses this struggle for freedom. The Galatian Christian initially embraced the gospel message, rejoicing in the freedom found in Christ's victory over sin and death. However, false teachers infiltrated the church, promoting a distorted version of the gospel that added human effort to God's grace. Paul's admonition to stand firm in freedom echoes through the centuries, reminding us to guard against any teaching that undermines the sufficiency of Christ's sacrifice. Just as a yoke restrains an animal's movement, legalism and sin enslaves us, preventing us from living in the fullness of God's freedom. True freedom in Christ entails liberation from the bondage of sin and legalism. It empowers us to live according to God's purpose and design, free from the dictates of human effort or worldly desires. When we embrace Christ's freedom, we are liberated to fulfill God's calling in our lives, walking in obedience and joy. As we conclude this episode of Crosswalk, I challenge you to cling to the truth of Galatians chapter 5 verse 1, standing firm in the freedom that Christ has secured for us. May we reject the yoke of slavery and embrace the abundant life found in surrendering to God's will. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the freedom that we have in Christ. Help us to stand firm in this freedom guarding against any teaching or mindset that seeks to enslave us. Grant us the strength to walk in obedience to your will, experiencing the fullness of life that comes from following you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Crosswalk. As we continue our journey, may we remain steadfast in the freedom that Christ has given us, trusting in his grace and walking in obedience to his word. Until next time, may we stand firm in the liberty that comes from surrendering to God's will. God be with you. God bless you.